Hello and welcome back to Tech with AGR, and this is the first of a series of videos where I'll be upgrading my 5,1 Mac Pro. So this is the first video, as I said, and in this video we're going to be installing a one terabyte SSD and a bracket. So without further ado, let's begin. Now that Mac's powered off, we can just pop the catch and remove the front panel. Now to remove the old hard drive, it's really simple. You just have to pull on the hard drive bay. One hand is all the force required. And there is the old hard drive. It was a 600 gigabyte SATA hard drive. And as you'll see later on in the video, it was near failing because the boot up time was about a minute. Anyway, now out with the old and in with the new. Let's get that SSD installed. So I've gone for a Samsung 1TB EVO SSD and I thought it was a good SSD because it was reliable and had good reviews. I also like the high speed. So to install the SSD, first up we're just going to unbox it and put it in the new bracket that I've got. So then in the end I didn't actually end up using that bracket, I decided to use the existing one that came with the Mac Pro that the previous owner had installed. It was a Western digital bracket and it was made of metal. So I just thought to save myself a bit of time I'd go with this. And here is the finished product. I have installed the SSD into the WD bracket and onto the Mac Pro's mounting plate. So now let's just install it and get on with the setup procedure. And there we have it, we've successfully installed an SSD into the Mac Pro. And now I will reinstall Mac OS and see you on the other side. Here is the result. So we have the Macintosh SSD, which is that new one terabyte solid state SSD which I've installed, and then the old hard drive which was there already. So now you've seen me do it, and you've seen the result, let me just give you a quick real-time stat of how it stacks up, how the SSD versus the hard drive stack up. So I've arranged a quick boot-up time test of before and after, which I'll show you now. And as you just saw from that quick test, what a substantial difference that SSD has made. The Mac Pro sounds a lot quieter, it's way slicker and smoother, and overall it just handles smaller tasks much better. And that concludes the first part of this Mac Pro build. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, it would be massively appreciated. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And the next upload will be about... the graphics card. I'm going to be putting an RX 580 8GB into the Mac Pro. So stay tuned for that. And anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.